All right, guys. It's time to warm up everything, get everything lubricated, get the heartbeat up, and uh, very excited. It's the start of something new. Let me introduce you to my coach. You go there and what's up? What's up, guys? Oh yeah, hitting it off with dumbbell incline presses. So before this exercise, we did quite an intense warming up. Not really that intense, but I really felt it. But it is important to get a good warming up before a heavy training. Anyways, what did we do? We took the cables and we did some flies, quite a lot of reps. Then went over to the incline bench, did some flies again and presses. So around 10, 15 reps flies and then the same reps presses. And then hit it off with heavy incline presses. Gotta say this went quite well. I had a good coaching, so I it, it did push me to my limits. And I gotta say that the pre-exhaustion really did its job. The warming up finally turned out to be a real exercise. We did we did took a bit heavier weight, and as you see, dumbbell flies, and after that presses. This is quite intense. They haven't ever done this exercise like this, but I gotta say, it is quite good. This gym where I am in Deventer is called Beweegcentrum Olympia. And the funny thing about this is, it has quite a big and empty space which hasn't been rented out yet. So it has a potentiality to be turned into I don't know something great of course bodybuilding slash fitness related but we'll see what happens with that because I know my coach is working on it but it takes some time anyways I was really struggling with this exercise I which is a good sign of course because that's when you know you grow that even rhymes all right after this exercise we weren't done with chest continuing off with peg decks Yeah, that was a great, great mental support for my coach. Anyways, as you see here, when I get to the last rep, I need to hold it there, hold it for a couple of seconds, and then slowly releasing it back. Why do we do this? Real simple, it's called time under tension. So when you're at the last rep, you're already exhausted. So what you do then is hold it there for a couple of seconds, just to really hit the time under tension, and slowly releasing it back. After that, we took it really simple, went over to the chest press machine. So we kind of did a drop set style thing, medium weight, a lot of reps, switch over to heavy weight. You see I'm struggling here, already had a lot of presses, but just keep continuing on. Gotta say, this was quite, quite challenging. Switching over to medium weight again, 10 to 12 reps, pressing it out, and then of course switching it over to around heavier weight, six reps. But I didn't, uh, I didn't reach the six reps because it was too heavy. Which is no excuse, of course, but four reps is enough too. There we go. Let's see. Facial aesthetics. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh dear. Oh dear. No. And it's done. Pushing out the last couple of energy 
last couple of reps and then we'll be done with chest it'll grow yeah I think I already gained while doing this exercise while doing this whole training so after chest we jumped over to tricep and bicep what we did is we combined those two in a superset so just tricep push down around 10 to 12 reps or was it 12 to 15 I'm not sure anymore I think 12 to 15 yeah yeah 12 to 15 and then after tricep push down switching it over to rope curls but then hammer grip style as my as I told my coach my arms are a bit lacking of course he did see that what I myself didn't really notice is that my right bicep has a slight bigger peak than my left one and when I got back home I measured them out and I saw that my left bicep is a bit smaller than my right one now checking out the tricep we noticed here that my long head tricep isn't really developed yet but anyways we will work on that that's what we do so basically I was a training after this one we weren't done with arms we continued over to the bench and did some close grip bench press and a superset with double curls what up it is your boy Mesodulis and we're back had a long day uh, got the shit kicked out of me by my coach I want to do a quick shout out to a couple of my fans first one is Nosha Next one is Army Boy. The third one is Sticky Stees. These are all their nicknames. Anyways, thanks for the support, guys. I'm gonna quickly edit this vlog and then go to sleep. Check you guys later.